the Tiger defense showed up to play from the very beginning, starting off that first drive with a huge sack and a huge tackle for loss. The Tiger defense then held the Sooners and Heisman runner-up Jalen Hurts to just 14 points and 160 yards of total offense in the first half. We had pressure on the quarterback. We felt that we could win our one-on-ones against them. But really, I thought we stopped their run game. I thought Coach Aranda had a tremendous plan. That counter read, I ain't seen nobody stop it. The key was Jalen Hurst not beating us with his feet, and we did a great job of that. Defensive lineman Braden Fajoko said they expected the Sooners to focus on their run game and prepare for the counter plays. Um, you know, we expected them to come out and run the ball maybe 30 times today. I mean, they're the um, kind of really the, the masters of the counter play. And so we were expecting a lot of gap schemes to lay a lot of counters. Uh, we didn't really get a lot of action up front on the D-line um, as far as what the back seven got. And so, I mean, I guess that's kind of a good day in the office. Oklahoma quarterback Jalen Hurts credits the Tigers' athleticism but said it was their mistakes on offense that lost them the game. They got, they got, great, they got great players, uh, really athletic players, fast, they play strong, and they rally to the ball. Um, but when you play this game, you, you talk about the controllables, you know, what you get control. And we, we didn't take advantage of our opportunities, and that's something that we can't control. Um, they play really good defense. But we were too inconsistent to come on, come out on top of this game, and that's, I think that's the, the blunt reality of it. The Tigers look to keep their streak of strong defensive performances going when they head back to the Bayou to play for the national championship in New Orleans on January 13th. Reporting from Atlanta for Tiger TV Sports, I'm Zach Nunes.